Today's the day I show you all the goodies that came in this crazy box. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take out the leak. I'll show you a quick picture here in case you missed the earlier video. I opened this box. This is from my aunt and uncle. And every little piece in here was wrapped individually. So I didn't open a box and have just a box of stuff. I opened a box and had lots more stuff to open because we wrap everything. That's how we do things here in our family. So I'm going to just jump right in and show you. Before I forget, want to say that she also got me a beautiful desktop ot light ott ot light i'll throw a picture in here because i have it already set up i do a lot of my work at the kitchen table rather than here in the studio it's just bigger more comfortable and that's how it works anyway that was also part of this gift uh, she said that stupid lamp that you use is less than a candle she said you need a bright light and it's wonderful it's it's wonderful three settings of brightness and it's just small enough where I can get it right where I need it uh, I, I absolutely love it so first thing I remember telling aunt that uh, pretty napkins are hard to find and so now and I, I told my mom that and so now whenever they see napkins on clearance that are pretty they pick them up for me dog sitting and I heard an odd noise uh, let me introduce you this is Gasper and this is Oliver and they're spending the weekend with me because there is yet another Christmas celebration downstate in which I was a part of, but didn't go. I stayed home to dog sit. So anyway, loads. How many is in here? A lot. 32 of these. So I have plenty to share. Speaking of sharing, please stay tuned to the end because I have another celebratory happy mail whilst we were away on holiday christmas vacation the channel blew past the next mile marker that i wanted to make sure to celebrate the 1234 mark one two three four <laughs> so i have a celebratory happy mail coming up i'll explain how that's going to work at the end of the video so stick around for that and it involves sharing stuff so so there of course i'm keeping lots of the paper for my christmas junk journal because because it's so beautiful so i'll start with the smaller things first these are really really tiny i did not expect them to be so small you know they the whole marker set fits in the palm of your hand i did not expect that these are stabilo 12.88 minis uh, they are 0.4 millimeter. Usually pens are in 7 and 5. And so this is a nice, tiny, little fine liner. And, and little, little here and little here. <laughs> and that's okay. Beautiful colors. I'm going to do a separate video where I swatch everything out and uh, do some experimenting. So watch for that. Uh, I just don't want to take the time to do it all today. Anyway, they're fine liners, mini format, fine tip, 12, very vivid colors. Beautiful. I love them. I don't remember where I saw these. If I can remember, and I, I probably won't because it's over the course of a year, I'll, I'll link the videos below, but I don't remember who I saw using these. They're Stabilo, so I'm wondering if they're water activated, which would be great fun. And if they're permanent, that would be fun too. It doesn't say permanent, so my guess is they are water soluble. So we'll have to we'll have to play around and see. Off topic, but in that try me video, I'm also I found this giant purple glue stick from Scotch mega size, which I really really like versus the little kid size. I don't like using the chapstick size; they're way too small for me because I'm used to using these, those little ones seem to me to take bloody forever to get anything glued because they're so tiny. This says fast and strong, permanent bond, applies purple, dries clear, and it's photo safe. I would love it if this worked out. I think this was $4 for one, but if it works better than, the, than this, 
and I'm going to give this another try. Uh, you can't find the bulk ones anymore, so maybe Amazon put a stop to the counterfeit crap. I don't know. You can only buy them one at a time, but I think these are between five and seven dollars, and this is four. So, and a uh, viewer also, pardon my memory, I'm very sorry I didn't look it up before, left me a great comment in one of my previous videos, and she suggested Bostic glue sticks. Those are now in my Amazon cart. They have a cute little gecko on it. Thank you so much for that suggestion. I will certainly follow through and get back with you. I ordered this, and I also ordered this. This is not part of my Christmas gift, but since we're talking new supplies, more brand. It was a sponsored ad on Amazon, but it is the giant sticks, nice big sticks, and uh, was not too bad. I think the 12 pack was $17. So uh, about a buck 50, buck 30 per, not too bad at all. If it works, I'm going to try it out. And if I don't like it, I will send it back. I'm not going to suffer through it like I did the last box, which is ridiculous. Uh, but since it was already here, I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how it goes. I will do that again on my Try Me video upcoming. I have not looked in this box since Christmas Eve when we opened all of our gifts. So this is sort of all new to me again because I, I only remember one or two, three things vividly for sure. So I have no idea what's in this box. <laughs> that's, you know, that's the fun of living with my memory. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, yeah. Keys. They're key charms. Uh, 40 pieces. And they're antique vintage gold. They're nice, heavy metal. Oh, they're all over the place now. They're um, all different sizes. Some have the holes on top to add jump rings or tie them through embroidery floss or thread or whatever. All different styles. 40 different pieces. That's Oliver, if you can hear him in the back. He still thinks his dad's coming home, so he's sitting at the gate crying. Even though I keep telling him no one likes a whiner, Oliver, he doesn't seem to care. Well, that was fun. My aunt thought, she said, I can't believe you don't have this already. Why wouldn't you have one of these? I've never had a compass, and I, I want to draw more circles, and I want the circles to be right, and I want it to be easy. So I asked for a compass. I'm sure I might have a protractor around here somewhere. Maybe I don't. It's been years and years and years since I had wanted or needed a protractor, but now I have a, a uh, compass. Why do you want to draw circles? Well, it's, I don't have a giant punch and I want to be able to draw circles that I can try to fussy cut pretty well versus punching them out. And having to trace something is not very accurate, but putting this little point down and spinning out some circles super easy especially if it's kept handy i'm very happy about that oil pastels metallic colors suitable for cards creative projects vibrant colors smooth non-toxic if i'm not mistaken these oil pastels are like crayons but you can manipulate them you can smudge them with your finger and make some wonderful designs that you just can't do with regular crayons i believe that's the beauty of these i've never used them i don't know i don't remember where i saw them being used it seems to me i've seen them being used a lot on various videos so they're quite popular i'm sure what i've seen is the tim holtz version but these were probably way cheaper, so I picked these for my wish list. I thought I knew what was in this shiny envelope, because in my Krabby Crafter wish list, I have a lot of dog stickers. You know what I like most about people? They're dogs type of stickers. And so I picked that up and I thought, oh, I know what's in here. And she said, oh, really? What's in there? And I said, dog stickers. And she said, I have no idea. <laughs> open it up and let's see what you got so I opened it up and look at this fabulous envelope oh yeah it is not dog stickers it's wonderful seahorse stickers which are also on my list I have a thing for seahorses I just think they're 
magical little gentle beasts. I think they're wonderful. And because she ordered this, they sent her some beautiful whales as a freebie. These stickers are from violetstickers.com on Amazon. You can sign up for a sticker deal, 15 sheets, $15 a month, 20% off your next order. Stickerstashoutlet.com, visit our new online shop. If you wanna go there and maybe find some different stickers, but these were from Amazon. So these are available there. And again, uh, well, I was gonna say, I put my, my Krabby Crafter wish list in the description box below. So you can go see these things but I think I took all of the things that I got out of my wish list so that I don't get repeats because we know how my memory works oh I don't have that uh, yeah you do this blew me away I just I just put this in my wish list Princeton I've heard great things about Princeton and I saw a watercolorist by the way I'm planning to do a lot more watercolor this year really really loving getting back into it and uh, these are travel brushes and they, they look like they come to a wonderful point. Again, I've not tried them. I will give them a spin on my Try Me video. A good watercolor brush will come to a wonderful point. It'll have a nice belly. It'll hold a lot of liquid. It will always come to that nice point when it's wet. So you can do fine line detail work as well as broader strokes. And they're all travel. So these, oh, it has this nice little case. When you get watercolor brushes, so many newbies want to keep these to keep their shipped with these on them. Uh, you see that they came off during shipping. I have not opened this, so they they uh, came off. But um, a lot of newbies want to keep these to keep them safe, their new brushes. But it will ruin your brushes because in trying to get... I'll use this little one because it's already done it. In trying to get this little thing back on your brush quite often you'll catch some of the hairs I don't know if that see how some of the hairs are catching and you pop that on you're gonna ruin some of those hairs and they you need them all to make that nice point so as soon as you get new decent watercolor brushes here's one here you see how this is flaring out you need them all to just I think it's just because it's been crimped and, this, and the sizing is not holding it together anymore. But you want them, when you store them, put them back to their point and let them dry naturally. Throw these out. Throw these out. Throw these out. Anyway, what I started to say is these, because they're travel brushes, you don't have to keep those plastic things because they are made for traveling. They, So you can... Throw them in your bag worry-free. That tip and those bristles are not going to get damaged in any way. Even though it's a travel kit, if you're just starting out in watercolor, this would be a wonderful kit just to have. All kinds of good sizes. You can do so much with just four brushes. Um, this brush, because of that point, you can do the finest detail work with this. In smaller projects with smaller brushes. So if you're just starting out in watercolor and looking to buy, even though it's Traveler, it's, it serves both purposes because I have I have my, my non-traveling brushes right here, right? I don't wanna pack these up and travel them. I can just grab this. But if you have to just buy one, if you're just starting out, buy one that'll do double duty. This will stay home with you, but you can easily throw these in a bag and go play go paint on the beach or go paint at a restaurant so it's a great it's a great way to get started with brushes and again they just they travel easy make sure not to catch any of those bristles again dry them the best you can repoint them and these are nice and big so you're not going to catch any of those bristles when I get home I would take them out and let them dry like this but they so once they're all in their little with their lids on has this fantastic and it'll set up I think maybe not I don't know I don't know yeah it'll set up oh nice wonderful kit it was funny like I said I just put it in my wish list and boom there it was in my reality very very shortly thereafter ask the universe for what you want and so it should appear 
Oh, I know what this is. I remember. I remember. It's all coming back to me. Halloween bloody horror washi tape. 12 rolls. Dripping blood. Spattered blood. Uh, ghosty on a blood red background. A bloody spider web. This is so cute. The little bloody knives and, and butcher knives and carving knives all spattered with blood. Right up my alley. Blood spatter on a black background. Bloody Halloween. Blood red with black bats. Blood red with black spiders. So let shit down. Blood red with black bats. Black with blood red skulls. <laughs> Um, what is this one? Oh, this is various parts of skeletons with blood spatter. So you have a foot and a leg and a laughing skull and a pelvis with two leg parts and rib cage. So skeleton parts and these are great. Bloody footprints and bloody palm prints and blood spatter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Not just for Halloween. There's black and red projects I have going on and uh, quite. I have about four projects that uh, this will, at least four projects, that uh, this set of washi tape will be very effective in. So I have to say, there was another box just like this and so I opened it and that was supposed to be Grinch tape. I'll put a picture here. Grinchy. I am. I am. The Grinch is my, my sole character. <laughs> Crabby, you know. Anyway, for some reason, either she ordered two Halloween or they mailed... She ordered one of each and they mailed two Halloween. Either way, I, don't, I got two of the very same sets. I did not get the Grinch set. So that is still in my wish list. Uh, what I did was I have a cousin who is very much into Halloween. I just going to give it to her so she has fun Halloween washi to play with too because she's going to love it and I'll, I'll eventually get the Grinch one. Another thing that absolutely blew me away was I finally have my wonderful two water container travel kit. Now I've, I have another one. The Cotman Field set, I absolutely love it. The only thing I bitch about is it's only got one water container. This one is a little bit bigger than my other one. I'll do a comparison and a side-by-side -side and share the colors and whatnot on the Try Me video. So this one's uh, quite a bit bigger. The other one is about almost half the size. It's really small. So this is pretty chunky, but it has more mixing space. I, d I have not figured out how to get it all apart, and I don't want to jack around with it too much. But there's a mixing well here. There's a mixing well. I could pop that out, and there's a mixing well underneath. This is a water flask and two water containers. I can't believe how many people on YouTube who are teaching watercolor only use one jar of water for for putting down clean washes or lifting paint. They're using dirty, muddy water. It makes no sense to me. So I, I, it's very important for me in my brain to have two, one for dirty brushes, you clean, 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 get it all dirty water, and one for clean water. So that when you go into your yellow, you're going in with clean white, clean water and your yellow is staying yellow instead of going in with dirty, muddy water and going, how come my, how come my watercolors are so muddy? Oh my, oh my God. So that's why I ordered this. I believe these colors are different than the ones that came in the field kit. I have uh, changed out a lot of the colors because again, I've had my, my travel field set for 30, 35 years and some of the colors I didn't like, I popped those out right away and I tube used my tubes to fill the pans because I prefer tube color to pan color. I'll talk more about that when we go through this. This also has its own little tiny travel travel brush tucked in there but what a fun gift it closes i got it uh, for when i flew i used to travel a lot and i got a tiny little four by six watercolor block 
and that field kit and I would just paint away the hours up up on the airplane. So this is the Cotman watercolor. It's it's also called a field travel set, uh, which I think that's what the other one's called. It comes with some colors. Uh, warm and a cool yellow, warm and a cool red, warm and a cool cool blue, warm and a cool green, a warm and a cool brown, black and white. Speaking of watercolor, I am, I am, I am doing my Get to Know Your Palette watercolor class. I've got three of the videos done. I just need to do the color trials, and we're off and running. Those will be available on my Patreon page, How to Get to Know Your Palette. A whole different way of learning color. Oh, plus, I, of course, I have my own take on how to teach watercolor color mixing so that you don't get mud. It's a really simple formula, and I've not seen anyone talk about it. So keep keep in touch and stay tuned, because that is coming. To go along with my beautiful Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolor kit. And by the way, Cotman is their student brand. Um, I've been using recently, oh, it's out in the other room. But I, I got myself all new paint. I, I saw a screaming good deal on Holbein, and I got three trays of Holbein watercolor, which is a professional artist grade. I just really don't like the colors. I want to go back to Windsor and Newton that I've used most of my watercolor adult life. Even if it's Cotman, I'd rather have Windsor and Newton student grade than, than what I have. So that's coming up too. But it's a great place to start. Windsor and Newton student grade Cotman is infinitely better than toys. Uh, Windsor and Newton watercolor cold press. This is only 25% cotton, so, so it's not nearly as expensive as 100% cotton. But it's the difference between cotton and pulp, fabric and wood. The watercolor reacts so much differently on good paper. So if you can get paper with at least some cotton in it, your watercolor is going to behave more like watercolor should because it's made specifically for watercolor. So I'm anxious to use this. Uh, I don't remember them ever making a student grade paper before, or maybe I just didn't know about it. So I'm anxious to see how it works. I've never tried it. There's another thing for our try me video. Much into dragonflies. I will take a dragonfly a thousand times over a flippin' butterfly. And this is called Vintage Dragonfly Ephemera Collection, and this is by Amelia Wentworth. I've never heard of her. I'm not affiliated. I don't know anything about her. I just know that it's filled with dragonflies. It is uh, self-published through Amazon. One of the things that bugs me is that all of the back pages are exactly the same. On one hand, that's no fun. On the other hand, there are fewer decisions to make. You know, like if I, I don't know, I just think that's, no offense to Amelia, I just think that's lazy. There are plenty of beautiful backgrounds that could have been used, and I would prefer to see, it costs no more to put a diff, it, other than time and effort, it costs no more to put a different backing on every page. But let's talk about how gorgeous this book is. Little tags, miniature journal pages, some labels or plates, all about dragonflies. What a wonderful collection. Joy, write, read, seasons, nature, Sunday, week, and they're just beautiful. So if you cut all of these pages out and fold them in half, you'd have a beautiful, this would be your back, and this would be your front. Gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. An instant journal, really. Um, I can't wait to play with this. Some stamps. Some longer shapes. These could be little belly bands. They could be ATC embellishments. There's so much you could do with a book like this. So much. Cut those down for ATCs. Some fussy cutting to be done. 
Now she leaves a little bit of the yellow around. There's a bit of a, so you can cut right to that green line or you can cut right, if you're good enough, right to the, uh, the bug itself. Some faux washi tape, some larger tags, some maps, some envelopes. These are fun. Something different. More fussy cutting. Ooh, lots of fussy cutting. A corner tuck. Beautiful. It is called Vintage Dragonfly Ephemera Co Collection. Again, by Amelia Wentworth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. And from my favorite, I believe, yeah, this is Poor Toast. Poor Toast and his, his partner, and I'm totally blanking on, Kate Curry. <laughs> I believe Kate Curry uh, recently collaborated with Nicole at Relax Cut Glue, and they did a cutout and collage book too. So those are the things. <laughs> Apparently that's the thing to do. Speaking of which, my own, my overload of Christmas cute. I shouldn't have called it Christmas cute, although that's what it's filled with, because it's not just for Christmas. As the wonderful Susan Fichter pointed out on one of her recent videos, there are lots of images in there that are winter related, not just Christmas. So there was one page that's, I think I used it in one of my, my own recent videos. All the critters are dressed in green and you know hats and scarves and stuff like that it has nothing to do with christmas just winter uh, and so if you got yourself a book or you haven't yet gotten yourself a copy there's lots of winter left we're only just getting into winter and so if you're doing some winter projects and you're looking for some cute critters pick that up anyway this is kate curry and the wonderful poor toast and they have Oh, they have so many wonderful things. I love their books. They're on Instagram. Very nice. I've been emailing with Portos. He's super, super nice guy. Very smart. Wonderful. Look at that wonderful little beastly. He's so cute. It just makes me want to do Halloween stuff. Isn't it gorgeous? Some pinup girls. Some pinup Halloween and then some not so much. And look at they have different different backings now that looks like almost all of them are different, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. No, there's a couple repeats. But at least they're not all the same on this back page. There's fussy cutting here to be done. If you don't like what's on this side. Who wouldn't like this spooky old bookcase and oh yeah, so yummy. So there's a, there's a dilemma. Do I cut out the pretty witch or do I cut out some cool pumpkins? That's a good thing of having doubles. The other option, of course, is to get yourself two books. What I like to do with two books is cut this image out twice and then you give yourself some three-dimensional look. You use those little foam pop dots and pop one off you cut one just a whisper smaller than the one underneath it and it gives you a three-dimensional look that is so much fun and it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your journals or your projects just a lot of dimension and some fun i love the background on here it's textured and watercolory paper looking so if you wanted to cut out a square of it it's not just plain back background paper gorgeous absolutely gorgeous book look at that lamp I need that. This is Cut and Collage Spooky Halloween Ephemera. I believe this came out just this October 2023. Brand spanking new by Portoast and Kate Curry. Overload of Halloween awesomeness. And last but not least, I have heard loads about Meaden. 100% cotton paper, acid-free. This is a, a much cheaper alternative than the Windsor & Newton watercolor blocks uh, for 100% cotton paper. Now, I know there are some watercolorists who have, um, I think it was Emily Olson, had 
went out and purchased every 100% cotton paper there was and tried them all. I've not watched that video, so I don't know what her result was or what her conclusion was. But again, I've been watercoloring on and off for the better part of 30, 35 years. And I always go back to the to the good stuff, to the Winsor Newton watercolor blocks. I always go back to it. I've tried loads of different kinds. Um, so I'm anxious. This is getting a lot of good feedback, but I also know that they're sending freebies out and people don't like to bite the hand that feeds them. So I'm not sure they're giving 100% accurate, honest answers because they got a freebie or because now they're going to be affiliated or now because they're, you know, they're getting a kickback. If you buy it on Amazon, they get money or you buy it on Meadon, they get money. That's not an honest review to me. Here's a bird walk. We haven't had one really this this video, so let's go. But do you remember Consumer Reports magazine? I think it's still out there. I think they still do Consumer Reports. And they don't take advertising. They just test stuff, consumer goods, refrigerators, cars, binoculars, hair blow dryers, whatever. They don't take any any advertising because they want their reviews to be unbiased. And now with affiliate marketing, you'll see a lot of review websites and blogs and whatnot that review everything from soup to nuts and back again. And they'll say at the top, we get a small kickback from some of our affiliate accounts, but it in, way, in no way affects our reviews. And I have to say, bullshit. If Meaden is going to give you a 33% kickback, and Windsor and Newton is going to give you a 10% kickback. You're going to offer meeting up more often. It's just human nature because you get more money, right? So there's no way that they can offer unless all of the affiliates give the same thing and they don't. Affiliate programs are different every single one of them. So I don't trust reviews anymore, especially if they offer affiliate links. Because the one that pays the most is going to get the most boost. Because if you buy more meadin' and I get more of a kickback, then I get more money. It's a simple human thing. So I'm anxious to try something new. I'd love it if there was something cheaper than Windsor & Newton watercolor blocks to play with. Especially this year when I'm looking to do a whole lot more watercolor. Now, that's not to say I only, only, only use blocks. I have loads of watercolor sketchbooks and whatnot that I'm working in. I can't wait to show you some of those. So this, this is quite a haul. I'm so excited to jump in and do these try me's. I hope that you will join, join me for that. I think it'll be big fun. And we'll try out the new glues and see how that goes. I'm anxious to try the Bostic. We'll see. I don't know about you, but this looks like another beautiful journal holder. Maybe next year's mini Halloween journal will go in there. Another skeleton's in the closet since I have that beautiful Halloween book to... I mean, can you can you stand it? There's so much Halloween coolness in here. That's enough for 10 lifetimes. Watercolor paper to play with. I'm so excited. Before we go, I want to tell you, um, because we hit that 1234 mark, 1,234 subscribers, look at us go, I uh, am giving away a junk journal starter kit. Or... If you're not brand new and you're not looking to build your stash, you may look at it as a stash refresher. We all have different toys. We all have different stuff. And I will show you in an upcoming video and tell you how it's going to work. Since we've already passed the mile marker, there's no rush. But I will mark the occasion with a celebratory happy mail of one of my junk journal starter kits. And this is the year of using it up and making it go away. I am uh, rethinking my whole thing here, uh, but fear not, we're not going anywhere. We're still right here doing the things we were doing. We're just doing it better and doing it more often. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and, and uh, having some fun with all my new goodies. I can't wait to try it all and share it all with you. 
please go love up your beastlies keep them warm and safe in the winter now that winter is upon us if you're where it's warm keep them well watered and if it's too hot or cold for you it's too hot or cold for them bring them in keep them safe until we meet again Mata at the lake out for now